YouTube. Today I'm gonna try to fix my son's computer. Yeah! It's a uh, XP. Yeah, X he has to fix my computer. XPS. Dell XPS computer. For some reason, um, it says the uh, mouse is not a mouse failure when I try to reboot it and it just got stuck so I couldn't even get to the buyers so as a result I had to go to um, EBA oh, and order a new motherboard, motherboard um, based on my research and I found out that is the motherboard that is actually um, that is bad so that I'm when you when you do um, the connection, make sure you record it or take pictures and make sure that you know which connectors, power cable that connect and what part to the motherboard is connected to. So make sure you know it. So now, if you look down here, the blue here. It's connected right here and it's running through onto the the hard drive and then there's the power cord that connect all the way to the power supply and then the CMOS battery right here so you got all those connections and um, make sure you know that this cable is connected so here, which is also a power cable that connect to the the chassis. And so ensure that all the connectors are done right, like this one right here, and this one goes here. So make sure you know which is which. So this is a black, and this is a yellow connector. And next to the black, there's another connector right here that connects to the motherboard. You have a blue skirt. have a blue Make sure you know it is connected there. So here I got my tools that I'm gonna use. So, so just ensure that you know which connector. So I know two yellow. Yellow goes here, and then blue comes here. They got two extra right here. And then you got a black, you got here. So it is always advisable to take pictures that will help you when you're doing your final setups. Okay. So now I'm gonna start the process of taking them apart. SIM cards. So right here, I just want to remove two of them. Right here. So now I'm gonna remove the next one. All you need to do, you press down the two latches right here, and then you press the black out. Let's press this one too, and then I'm just pulling both of them together by holding them up. So I just see them right here. So that's the two sims right there. So now next thing is to unplug that. I can unplug now the CD-ROM too. This is the CD-ROM right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the. So basically the hard drive was connected here. It was connected right here. So I just remove it. And um, that's the cord that connect the motherboard to the oh, no. it's to your hard drive. So I also unplug that. So the next thing is to unplug the motherboard. So this is it. So I'm going to try to wiggle it out. Okay, so now to remove the power cord, remember there's a little knob right here. So what you do is you have to press it. 
and then pull it and just be careful so that when you're pulling it you don't pull too hard where it will unplug the whole motherboard the, the socket from the motherboard so it's something that you just like that and then pull and push the knob like you push down or, or, or push it against like what I'm doing is you pushing it against it like that and then pull it um, so just make sure that you support your your motherboard and ensure that the socket itself don't come off and then you pull it you know so it's really see so it's gonna come out right, the next thing is to unplug this other switch right here that it also connected into the motherboard so to reach it I'm gonna do the same thing there's a little switch right here like a clamp so you gotta hold it see this um, chassis is really tight that you can get into it so um, sorry that you can't really see the action going going on but this is easily how you do it to get it out. Um, you just push this little knob right here. You push this little knob right here and then pull it. So that kind of like help you out to clear your way to advisable to record your action so that you can go back or meaning that take notes uh, so that it will be easy for you to go back um, assuming you have an error or you're trying to figure out where there is a problem so you can go back and, and uh, fix it just, m just make sure that when you unplug it um, you be careful so that you don't break any of these tiny pins right here um, let me just zoom it for you a little bit so you can see what I'm talking see how the pins just make sure you don't break these pins they're really tiny so make sure you don't break them okay next thing I'm gonna do is to unplug the other power connector here to the motherboard so it's out uh, just make sure too it got some tiny pins right here so you don't break him so the next thing is to unplug this guy too oh push him in there so it's how to so move them out here. So just make sure you record them. Know which which is which. That, oh no. So that this one. when you come back to plug in them, you know which one goes to which okay, connector. And uh, so what I did was was to pop this thing in order to get the video card out, because the video card is really hard to get out. So. So what I did was I use a screwdriver and then take the the screw out. You know. So once you take the screw out and then this will pop out. So this is the screw right here. This is the screw right here that I just got out. So you need to pop this guy out. Once you pop this guy out, and then the video card will just come out. And then you can put it on the side. You can put it on the side. Yellow connector almost getting to the motherboard um, so now I'm removing the heat sink in front
Manjita! Manjita! Não, mas vou me derreter aqui no pente. Mas ó. Ah. Mas ó. Ah. Right there, it's right there. Hello. Alright, so now I'm able to get the motherboard out. So I took the CPU out. Um, this is the CPU. Okay, so I'm gonna put it next to the. Um, I just see it right here. Yeah. See it right here. So I already cleaned. Clean it with the heat, <laughs> heat sink and timer. <laughs> so I already clean it with the heat sink and timer. To do it, I, I still have to demonstrate it for oh, this can be a camp out. Uh, the benefit of others. So this all you need to do, you can um, out. clean up the heat sinking that is already there. Push and then you sit it. And then from the Push heat sinking fan. You also clean up the shell <laughs> with a clean cloth. Okay. So now I got this motherboard okay, out. Give me something. It's so dirty. Um, but I'm gonna put it on the side. And I'm gonna replace it with this new motherboard. That I bought from eBay. So I'm gonna use um, a scissor. Put out. No. No. What? It looks clean though. Huh? No. So I'm gonna put it back in. connections but before doing it I just use this opportunity to clean up the chassis make sure clean up the fan so now I'm gonna put back this motherboard. So it looks like it fits perfect. So as you can see, it's gonna tell you that um, the video card is unsupported, but just leave it and let the system keep booting, and then for some reason, um, it's gonna perform the job so as you can see our window is booting up so now the system is back up and running so for you to be able to if let's say you have a, a dead motherboard the first thing you need to do replace the motherboard and if it's giving you a hard time to boot um, ensure that you replace the um, the video card so once you replace the video card and then just um, Put back the CD that comes with the um, bootable Windows CD. Um, you can um, automatically boot up and still get all your data back. So as you can see, so I'm about to put everything back together and the video card at the same time. All right. Well, thanks again. Um, Stay tuned if you like it and um, subscribe and I'll keep you updated for any new thing that I'm going to do. I'll let you know. I thank you too.